Welcome back to Make Way for Cat. Let's talk about brewing beverages in Traveler's Rest. This mechanic has gone through various changes over the course of early access, and the story in City Patch was no exception. Flavoring beverages in the brewing process is gone and has been replaced with the new cocktail table. I'll go over each category in the order you unlock them, so beer first, then wine, the distillery, and finally cocktails. I'll also cover aging after that and wrap it up with some tavern info regarding drink stacks and dispensers. Check the timestamps below if you're looking for something specific. Keep in mind, I only talk about recipes up to level 10. Before we begin, let's talk about a few relevant items in case you haven't seen my beginner's tips video. You will need water every time you brew beer and taking that one little bucket back and forth to the well is inefficient and annoying. At the work table, you can craft your own buckets and I recommend a stack of at least 10 to start. They do stack and you can fill the whole lot in one well trip. Next, craft a chest and place it in your kitchen area. All machines in the kitchen, including your drink making equipment, will pull ingredients from chests so you don't have to lug around every ingredient. Okay, now that that's covered, let's get into the drinks. First, we're diving into the beer brewing process. Beer requires two machines, both of which you have at the start, the malting machine and the fermentation tank. Open the fermentation tank to get a closer look at your recipes. Hover over each drink to see their ingredients. You start off with three beer recipes at the beginning of the game, lager, amber ale, and porter. Recipes are identical for beers, but the ingredient components will vary slightly. Starting with the malting machine, you'll need to place some kind of grain to create a malt. Malt can be made from wheat, barley, rye, corn, or rice, and different beer recipes will require malts made from specific grains. The recipes will tell you which malt to use and which grains to use for it. Note the malt for lager requires wheat or barley, and the amber ale and porter require rye or corn. Corn seeds don't appear until summer, and rye seeds don't appear until fall. You can check with the crop vendor to see if they have either in stock, otherwise you'll be stuck with wheat malt for spring. At level 5, you can unlock dark lager and stout at the recipe cave, which adds the toasted malt recipe to your malting machine. Dunkel and Pilsner unlock at level 10, along with your first rice-based malt drink, the rice lager. The malt will then go into the fermentation tank when it's done, along with hops, yeast, and water. So you'll need four total ingredients for beer, malt, hops, yeast, and water. We've covered malt, so let's talk about hops. Looking at our recipes, we can see that each of the starting drinks take different types of hops. Lager with bitter or aroma, amber ale with citra or dual, and porter with centennial or galaxy. You can buy hops from the produce girls in the city center. Purchase hop seeds from Rhea, the girl on the right, or purchase already grown hops from Leah on the left. Next up is yeast. Beer is brewed with either one of two yeasts that you can purchase from Amos at the City Tavern. Lager yeast or ale yeast. Lager requires, of course, lager yeast, and the other two at the start require ale yeast. Once you have the malt, hops, yeast, and a bucket of water, you can brew your beer in the fermentation tank. And that's beer done. Let's move on to wine. Wine has the easiest components, but also requires two machines to make. You start with the press and can make red and white grape juice with it using any grapes. The other machine is the brewing barrel, which you can purchase from Amos at the City Tavern. Note, the brewing barrel sells for three gold, or you can purchase the crafting blueprint from the sawmill for four. I recommend just outright buying the first one because it's less expensive. By the time you're ready and have the space to build two, money will be much easier to come by. After you make your juice, you will need the wine yeast from Amos at the City Tavern. You also get hard apple cider at the beginning, but you'll need to either grow sugarcane or purchase sugar from the branch. And for that one, you'll also need apple juice to make. Rosé unlocks at level 5 in the recipe cave, and mead at level 10. The rosé will take 10 of each white and red juice, mead will take honey and herbs. 
After wine, you'll unlock the ability to purchase the distillery at level 5 and get the recipes for vodka and brandy. Distillery recipes can be the simplest and most complex since each drink here has varying requirements. One thing they all have in common is the use of distillation yeast, the white one purchasable at Amos's Tavern in the city. Hopefully you've been growing potatoes because vodka takes three for each batch. Brandy uses wine that you've already made and aged. I'll say it again, you need aged wine to make brandy. The nice thing is that when the brandy is done, it comes out the same age as the wine you put in, so you don't have to double age it. Also at level 10, you unlock three recipes at the cave, gin, fruit liqueur, and herbal liquor. If you're watching this video early in your game, don't transform all of your berries into juice because it's a key component to gin. You'll also need any grain and aromatic plants. Herbal liquor takes both wild herbs and aromatic plants, so be careful making this if you're saving those wild herbs to make black pepper for cooking. And lastly, fruit liqueur is super easy, just add any fruit juice and sugar with your yeast. At level 12, you can buy the mixing table, which lets you add flavorings to your aged beer, wine, and spirits for more profitable drinks. You'll start with flavored beer and sangria right off the bat, using aged beer or wine mixed with fruit juice. Coconut and watermelon juice are excellent for this. Several more mixed drinks unlock at levels 15, 20, 25, and 30, letting you jazz up vodka, whiskey, rum, and gin. And finally, let's talk about aging barrels. You start with two, but you can craft more once you hit level five and pick up the recipe from the sawmill. You can fit a maximum of 60 barrels down in the cellar, but if you'd like an aging shelf to get more value out of your cheese and pickles, you're looking at 55 barrels. The key here is to stack them. Head over to your metal workbench and you'll see a recipe for a small barrel support stand. Build these if you start to run out of room on the floor for barrels, or if you can wait until level 10, you can get the better barrel support stand. Head over to the blacksmith in town and purchase the blueprint for the larger stand. This lets you stack five barrels in a one by three space. Aging drinks has four levels, starting with green, then blue, then purple, and finally orange. Orange is grand reserve, and it's best to wait until your drinks hit orange to get the most money out of them. On site, you'll know if a barrel has hit orange when you can no longer see a progress bar. Now, I have heard complaints from multiple people about how long aging takes and how slow it is to get aged alcohol out. Yes, it is at first, but that's on purpose. You're supposed to start supporting yourself on less expensive tea and fruit juice off the bat, and then work your way up to alcoholic drinks and then higher priced alcoholic drinks. I highly recommend using your coconuts for early game juice, as those can be more expensive than some low level beer. By midsummer in the first year, so only a month and a half in, I started filling out all my taps and by fall I struggled with keeping up base drinks to put in the aging barrels. I promise it goes fast. And speaking of barrels, the ones on the wall behind the bar are called kegs and you can purchase additional ones from Amos at the City Tavern. You can only fit a maximum of four kegs and even moving the bar, which yes you can, it wouldn't let me add any more. On the front of the bar are the taps, and as of now, you cannot add any more of those. Only drinks classified as beer and mead can go on the taps, but any drink can go in the kegs on the back wall. And lastly, let's talk about drink stacks. Initially, your drinks are brewed in batches of 20. You can get skill points to increase that, but wait! Did you know that if you put drinks in the aging barrels or your tavern dispensers, they fit 30 at a time? I recommend popping chests down for both unaged drinks and fully aged drinks to stack them and try to max out the 30 on top or in the barrels. Editing Cat here to let you know that only beverages brewed with the exact same ingredients will stack. If you use a different base grain for malt or a different fruit juice additive for your cocktails, they are considered completely different drinks. So if you want to make the most out of your stacks, try to keep your ingredients consistent. And that wraps up my Brewing 101 in Traveler's Rest. I hope this helped, and let me know in the comments if you have any more questions. Also, let me know what your favorite drink is in Traveler's Rest to make in the comments below. 
mine is the brandy. I love the way the bottles look and it's satisfying that you don't have to age it a second time. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.